Hey everyone, so I've been wanting to make this video for absolutely ages and finally I can because tonight in the UK Doctor Who Series 5 aired an um, episode called The Eleventh Hour. Now about a year and a half ago, give or take, David Tennant announced that he was leaving as the Doctor which is probably the most devastating news I've heard apart from when Billy announced that she was leaving. And I just have to say as well, um, I do run the risk of being a little biased in this because um, Series one, to one, 1 and 2 are very close to my heart because Billy Piper means the world to me and Chris Eccleston and David Tennant are both very special doctors. So when they announced, when they announced that Matt Smith was going to be the doctor I was like eh because I'd seen him in Secret Diary of a Call Girl with Billy Piper and Ruby in the Smoke with Billy Piper which I thought was a little bit of a coincidence but um, I did like him in those things. I knew he was a good actor. I knew he could act. But I think obviously I was just still obviously really emotional from knowing that David was leaving and knowing that it wasn't going to be David, so I wasn't looking forward to this at all. But um, I'd watched all the little episodes throughout the year, and finally we did finally get this season tonight. And um, like I said, the eleventh hour, and I I'd not seen any um, big spoilers or anything. I'd seen bits of the trailer, but I'd not bothered like watching it all properly. And I can now conclude that it was iffy. Um, it it's not. How I thought it was going to be, um, obviously the Doctor's companion now is Amy Pond, who's played by Karen Gillan, who is a, who comes from actually not far from where I live just now. And, um, well, I'd heard a lot of good things about her, I wasn't really sure she was going to be that good. She played the soothsayer um, in Fires of Pompeii, which was season four with Catherine Tate. And I didn't know that, you know, you can't really recognise her because she's got like the red hood on and everything and it, she just doesn't look like the same actress. But basically at the start of the episode, um, the eleventh Doctor, Matt, meets Amy as a little girl who's actually played by um, Karen's cousin, like in real life cousin. So that was quite interesting. And that happens, and that's fine, and it makes sense. And then he goes back, and then he gets his TARDIS all mucked up, and he goes back, well, goes forward in time to the wrong time, and he meets Amy as she is now. And um, basically, the full episode is I don't want to give too much away, but the main thing is they've got to find um, Prisoner Zero and um, find him and send him back to um, the prison, basically. And it's not a bad episode as such. I, um, Matt's acting is good. He, he does act like the Doctor. However, throughout most of the episode, he's still wearing the clothes that David left in. And that is heartbreaking, because if you squint, um, he actually does look like David Tennant, because like, his hair's the same and everything. Well, for like a bit of it, it's the same. And it does feel like David's there. The things he says is the same as David. I mean, it's not, the script isn't bad, but I thought it would have made it a little bit different. Um, like, the first thing he says is, um, um, can I have an apple? I mean, that's just, it makes sense for the Doctor because he's quite an interesting character. Um, but it's not, it's just, they really need to get away from this David Tennant Doctor as much as it'll kill me. Um, and just sort of give him a new personality. It's like with Chris Eccleston. Now I must say as well, I'm not a fan of the old, old Doctor Who's. It's not that I'm not a fan, I've just never seen them much, ever, much of them anyway. But like Chris Eccleston was your sort of sarcastic Doctor, David Tennant was your full of life, bouncy Doctor. Matt needs something for himself and I just don't know what's left for him. Um, now the episode was directed by Adam Smith, who this, from what I know of, is his first episode. He's directed, um, he's done... I want to say two others in this ser series, but of course we haven't seen them yet. Um, and it wasn't badly directed, it was fine. And it was, um, the episode was written by Stephen Moffat, who um, has been doing episodes since 2005, since we had Chris Eccleston. So um, any episode with Stephen Moffat is um, brilliant. You know it's going to be good if you see his name there. Um, but um, the thing I didn't like about it is that he f the fact that he told little Amelia, um, which is like Amy when she was younger, about the TARDIS. And I... I don't think it's something children should know about, you know, and um, and that could potentially have ruined the Doctor, you know, it's like, it's just not something that should have happened, um, in my opinion, but other people might see it differently. Um, the Sonic Screwdriver as well, now, I'd read somewhere that Matt actually carries around Sonic Screwdrivers with him when he's out and about because he's broken four of them is, um, already. Now, whether that's true or not, I don't know, but um, I'm led to believe it is. And at the end of this episode, the sonic screwdriver is green, like grey with the green bit at the end instead of the blue bit. And I'm like, well, that's not the sonic screwdriver. It could be ultrasonic, but it's not the sonic screwdriver, and that really annoyed me. Um, but Nina Wadia was in this as well, before, um, before I forget. She plays Zainab in EastEnders. 
Um, now, I didn't know she was going to be in this until tonight, so that was a great um, delight. Um, and also, um, sort of near the end, this is, I don't think this will give too much away, there's like a sort of footage of like the Doctor looking back over the past four years. And there's like clips of all the different aliens, like the Zikarax, the Reaper and things like that. And it is heartbreaking because you know Billy was involved in them and it's like, no! Um, but then there's clips of all the Doctors and then you've got Eccleston and you've got um, Tennant and it's just so lovely to see David, sorry, so lovely to see David Tennant and Chris Eccleston in it, even just for a moment. Um, so basically, yeah, it was, it was an alright episode. Um, I'm a bit annoyed that the Daleks and the Cybermen are coming back because it's like they're still gripping onto that one little bit of David and Billy. And I fear that they will sort of... Now, obviously, I know there's been um, Martha and Donna as well since then, but obviously, like I said, Billy's very close to my heart and Rose is amazing. Um, but I do worry that they're not going to um, end it there because like, all through Martha, the, the Doctor kept mentioning Rose. Most of Donna, the Doctor kept mentioning Rose. And I just hope that this time the Doctor is not going to mention Rose because this is the first time since the series, the series began in 2005 that we've had a brand new cast, you know, like when Eccleston left, we had Tennant, but Billy was still there. When Billy left, we had Tennant for another two series, but this is the first time it's been completely fresh cast. So um, I just hope now that's time for Billy and the, for Rose and the Doctor to have some closure and for us to just forget about the last seasons and start afresh. It's no longer about the relationships between the companions anymore. Because as you sort of realise that after Donna, you know, um, the Doctor and Rose's relationship was very much more than friendship deep down. Um, but with Martha it wasn't and Donna it definitely wasn't. So that now it's just time to um, sort of concentrate on the sci-fi and the fun and the running around and the fighting aliens. Which is going to make, it'll be different for viewing. Because if, if you're like me and you've been watching it for the emotions, it's going to be really hard. I mean the emotions are still there. But it does allow you to concentrate more on the, on the plots rather than the connection between the characters. But it is a um, good episode um, and we'll have to see what else we've got um, lined up for us. Um, I couldn't tell you how many episodes there's going to be. I imagine there'll be about 12 or 13 episodes as usual. And when the DVDs come out, I'm still going to buy them because um, my collection would look weird if I didn't. Um, from what I know, this is out in the States on the 12th, and I don't know about anywhere else. Um, but when you see it, please let me know what you think, and feel free to post video responses and things. And if you do like it, let me know. And if you don't like it, let me know as well, because I feel a bit um, nasty saying bad things about it, because I am being a little bit biased. But... Apart from that, yeah, let me know and um, as usual, feel free to leave comments and things and also please subscribe, if not for me, but for Doctor Who and thank you for watching. Bye guys!